Temadar is a medication used to treat specific types of brain cancer. It belongs to a group of drugs called alkylating agents, which work by slowing down or stopping the growth of cancer cells. The daily dosage and the optimal timing for taking Temadar will be determined by your doctor based on your individual condition and medical history. Before you start taking temozolomide, make sure to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually once a day. Swallow the capsules whole with a full glass of water. Do not open, chew, or dissolve the contents of the capsules. If you vomit after taking your dose, do not take any more medication. Wait and take your next dose at the regular time. To reduce nausea and vomiting, take temozolomide on an empty stomach or at bedtime. It's best to take this medication at the same time every day in relation to a meal. The dosage and treatment schedule are based on your medical condition, height, weight, and response to treatment. Make sure to follow your doctor's directions for taking this medication and mark your calendar to keep track of when to take the next dose. Your doctor may also prescribe other medications to help prevent infection or side effects. Follow your doctor's directions for taking all your medications. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed. If the capsules are accidentally opened or damaged, avoid inhaling the medication or getting it on your skin. Women who are pregnant or may become pregnant should not handle this medication or breathe the dust from the capsules. Some common side effects of Temadar may include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, mouth sores, changes in taste, constipation, tiredness, dizziness, trouble sleeping, or headache. Your doctor may prescribe medication to help with these side effects, and eating small meals or limiting activity may also help. Temporary hair loss may occur, but should return to normal after treatment. It's important to know that while using this medication, there may be serious side effects such as a decrease in bone marrow function, which can lead to a low number of blood cells. This can cause anemia, a decreased ability to fight infection, or easy bruising slash bleeding. It's important to monitor these symptoms and notify your doctor if you experience any. In rare cases, temozolomide may increase the risk of other cancers. It's also important to be aware of symptoms of liver damage, and to seek medical help if you experience a seizure or a serious allergic reaction. If you notice any other effects, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you experience any serious side effects, such as symptoms of liver damage or a seizure, it's important to seek medical help right away. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to report any other effects to your doctor or pharmacist. Before using temozolomide, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies, as this medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other problems. Make sure to also discuss your medical history, especially if you have kidney or liver problems, bleeding or blood problems. Temozolomide can increase your risk of getting infections or make current infections worse. It's best to avoid contact with anyone who has an infection that can easily spread, such as chickenpox, COVID-19, measles, or the flu. Additionally, let your doctor know if you've been exposed to an infection. Before receiving any immunizations or vaccinations, inform your healthcare professional that you are using temozolomide. Also, it's important to avoid contact with people who have recently received live vaccines, such as the flu vaccine inhaled through the nose. To minimize the risk of getting cut, bruised, or injured, be cautious with sharp objects like razors and nail cutters, and consider avoiding activities like contact sports. Temozolomide may cause dizziness, especially when combined with alcohol or marijuana. It's essential to avoid driving, using machinery, or any activities that require alertness until you can do them safely. Limit alcohol consumption and discuss the use of marijuana with your doctor. Before undergoing surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Women and older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, including an increased risk of infection and easy bruising or bleeding. Men should not donate sperm while using temozolomide and for three months after stopping this medication. Due to potential harm to an unborn baby, women who are pregnant or may become pregnant should not handle this medication or breathe the dust from the capsules. It's vital to inform your doctor if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, 
and to use reliable forms of birth control during treatment and for six months after the last dose. Men using this medication should also use condoms for birth control during treatment and for some time after the last dose. It's unclear if this drug passes into breast milk, so breastfeeding is not recommended while using temozolomide and for one week after the last dose. Consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When taking temodar, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. These interactions can affect how the medication works and may increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this list with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial to not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without first consulting your doctor. If you or someone else has taken too much Temodar and is experiencing severe symptoms like losing consciousness or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call 911 or your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can reach out to your provincial poison control center for assistance. It's important not to share Temodar with others. Before starting Temodar, you may need to undergo lab and or medical tests such as complete blood count, liver function, and brain scan. It's also important to keep all medical and lab appointments while taking this medication. Be sure to take each dose of Temodar as directed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, consult your doctor or pharmacist immediately to determine the best course of action. It is important not to take a double dose to make up for a missed one. It is important to store Temodar at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Avoid storing it in the bathroom and make sure to keep it out of reach of children and pets. Do not flush Temodar down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. When Temodar is expired or no longer needed, it should be properly discarded. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.